If you're at all compelled about the longevity and expansion of the Miz T Show, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Links below. This is Red and Black Ninja with your Pretendo Direct. Can't believe I'm doing this shit. Mr. T was nice enough to give us this opportunity. I think we should do a good job. Ooh, Mr. T, the biggest Nintendo fan bitch of all. Now that's not very nice. Besides, your therapist thought it'd be a good idea for you to take this job and, you know, work out some of your issues. Oh my god, I can't believe people thought I'd kill myself. I just shot the stupid monitor. That OJ guy was on it, spewing some Nintendo propaganda, so I had to do something about it. It's not propaganda, Red. It's facts. Nintendo's doing really well right now, and you just need to work out your issues. You keep talking about how you're a real Nintendo fan, so as a Nintendo fan, can't you say something positive about Nintendo? Just one thing? Can you make one positive video? I mean, you are a real Nintendo fan, so it shouldn't be that hard to make one positive video about Nintendo. Hmm? Okay, 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 let's get on with this bullshit. I'm only doing it because my therapist thought it'd be a good idea, and also because of community service I had to serve. Okay, fine, let's get it going. First up, Nintendo showed off WarioWare Collection for 3DS. It looked awesome. WarioWare is one of my favorite franchises, but many people were just wondering, why not also a Nintendo Switch? You're gonna be hearing that a lot during this broadcast. Why not put this on Switch? Why not put that on Switch? It's really funny, because these Nintendo fan bitches really loved the 3DS during the Wii U era. I wonder why. Alright, alright, so moving along to Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers for Nintendo 3DS. I for one am looking forward to Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers. Looks like a pretty cool game. I'm a fan of the series. It's a very underrated series on the 3DS, so it's cool to see this character continue to get games. It's probably underrated because Nintendo has not made a retail version of any of the games thus far, and I believe this will be the first one, so that's pretty cool. What about you, Red? Um, I got no comment. I never played that trash. Okay, and next up we have Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story plus Bowser Jr.'s Journey. Wow, that's a mouthful. Yeah, and you Nintendo swallowing fangirls know a lot about mouthfuls. Alright, Red, that's a little bit too far. Can we keep this just a little bit more PC? Well, of course. Next up, we have Detective Pikachu. It's Pikachu, and he's a detective. And it's getting a movie. More Nintendo trash. That's not very nice, Red. And just to keep going with the baffling game announcements, we have Luigi's Mansion D-Make. <laughs> it's a D-Make, because it's not a remake. It's definitely a downgrade from the original GameCube game. I don't know why this game is being made. Well, if you know anything about Luigi's Mansion and the GameCube beginnings, the game was actually developed with 3D in mind. Nintendo had a... Yeah, whatever, Black. Uh, next up, we have Nintendo's baby game of the year. Kirby Star Allies had more information for it. I mean, come on. <laughs> Kirby's a really fun series, Red. I think you should give it a chance. Yeah, no thanks. I have no interest in Pink Pup Ball Baby Adventures. Moving along. Next up, we have Okami HD for Nintendo Switch. This looks to be the definitive version of the game, definitively, as it has touchscreen controls as well as gyro controls using the Joy-Con controller. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. It's yet another old port for the Nintendo port station. Well, it's not that old of a port, Red. This version of the game not too long ago came out on PS4. Who cares? No one cares. But what we do care about is Sushi Striker Way of the Sushido. <laughs> Talk about trash. Not really looking that forward to it, but hey, it's a game. Now, here's a game. Project Octopath Traveler. Actually now dropping the project and just becoming Octopath Traveler. I'm actually really looking forward to this game. It's beautiful. Looks to be a very deep JRPG. Harking back to the old days of 16-bit RPGs and uh, looks pretty cool. I'm actually looking forward to this one. Wow, that's cool, Red. I'm glad you actually found a game that you like. Yeah, 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 whatever. Can we speed this up? I got a hot date tonight. Sure. Next up, we had Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes. We actually got some gameplay footage of the game, which was pretty cool to see. I'm a little disappointed in what I saw. I'm still going to wait and see what how the game's actually going to play out. But I wasn't expecting No More Heroes 3, as it wasn't called that. But I was hoping that it wasn't just Travis Touchdown and uh, these indie games, kind of an indie game mini collection. So, looks like that's what we're getting, but oh well. Uh, Dark Souls Remastered plus Amiibo. I know a lot of people are really excited for this, so it's cool to see. And the game actually looks really good. Then we got more information on Mario Tennis Aces. This is a day one buy. The game looks amazing. And then we get yet another Wii U port for the Nintendo port station, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. <laughs> Not only is it ported to the Nintendo Switch, but it's also ported to the 3DS. This is a shame. That shallow trash speaks to the fact that these Nintendo swallowing fangirls will buy anything. Well, I'm actually looking forward to Captain Toad, and I hope it gets more shine. Uh, next up was a Surprise, Undertale, the indie darling game. Getting a Switch version, that is very cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I got nothing bad to say about that. 
Uh, but then yet another port for the Nintendo Port Station. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Nintendo fangirls are rejoicing and dancing all over the world because they're, they're getting some old remastered ports of PlayStation games and they think that means something. <laughs> yeah, it's not really that big of a deal. Crash has been on Nintendo consoles. The mainline games have been on Nintendo consoles for going on 20 years now, so it's not that big of a deal. It's cool to see this trilogy come over. Looking forward to that. Little Nightmares. Uh, was also announced another indie darling game with all the DLC. The game looks really interesting, has that Tim Burton, Tim Shaper aesthetic to it. Amiibo support with Pac Man with the Paku mask, I believe. Looks really creepy, pretty cool there. And another big surprise, kinda. South Park, the fractured butthole. <laughs> fractured butthole. <laughs> I laugh every time I hear that title. I'm glad I waited for this game. Um, I have Stick of Truth, which I really like. So, yeah, back to more Nintendo Port Station news. Hyrule Wars Definitive Edition. There's more information, a release date. I tell you, Nintendo can't make any games for this new Switch console. They're just bringing over all the Wii U trash. Which includes them bringing over content from Wii U games like Splatoon into Splatoon 2. Splatoon 2 is getting new, quote-unquote, new maps and uh, new gear and stuff like that. And it's also getting a new campaign single-player DLC pack for $19.99, which actually looks pretty cool. I'm a fan of Splatoon 2, actually, even though it's cartoon kitty trash. Cool to see them expanding this game even more and giving it more content, so I don't really have anything bad to say there. And they finished up the presentation with the old switcheroo, if you will, <laughs> where they had a trailer that looked very similar to the original Splatoon 1 reveal trailer, but that transitioned into a megaton announcement, Smash for Nintendo Switch. And these Nintendo swallowing fangirls go wild! Yes, Smash was finally announced for the Nintendo Switch, and it looks to be an all new game actually, not a port that, that everybody was thinking that was gonna happen. That is very cool. And thank you very much, we're done, I'm out of here. Somebody take this mic off of me, I feel like I'm getting Nintendo cooties. I'm out of here, peace. Uh, okay, well, uh, that, that concludes our special Pretendo Direct. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Black Ninja. Until next time, Domo Arigato. <laughs>